Okay, today we're going to be reviewing the ever so small uh, Nikon 200 to 500 uh, millimeter super telephoto lens. And uh, the reason I purchased this lens was first off, it's the best bang for your buck, in my opinion, uh, under 1500 bucks. And second of all, quickness of it is, I think, just as good, if not better, than the uh, 80 to 400, and it accomplishes a lot more. Uh, than I expected. So let's look at the outside of the lens and see what it has to offer. First thing to note is if you notice right here this is the uh, lock mechanism for the 200 so if you want, know that you're going to be traveling with this or if you're going to be out and about and you don't want the uh, lens to keep uh, falling down per se uh, you can lock it in at 200. It will not zoom out. Also if you uh, disengage the lock right there this sucker does go all the way from 300 to 500. Let's see what the lens looks like when we fully extend it out. So currently I can barely even get that in the frame. So this is what the lens looks like when it's fully extended out. Uh, you have the end of the lens right here uh, as well as that. On the underside of the lens you've got your ring uh, that's attached to the uh, mount for your tripod or monopod. I've just got right here my uh, Manfrotto quick release attached to it so that would be removed and it would look just like this. Okay. Uh, as far as the buttons go, um, let's get into that for a second. You're going to have your uh, autofocus, which will be your manual uh, versus your automatic. Right here you've got your zoom li limiter, so you can do it where the autofocus goes all the way from the full range, or the, so the full 200 range, all the way to the 500. If you know your subject is always going to be, uh, I believe it's 20 feet roughly, uh, at least 20 feet or further. Uh, you can put this limiter on so that way uh, the, the actual autofocus will be quicker uh, uh, internally. Usually your subject is going to be further uh, than 20 feet out. So definitely helps when you're trying to uh, photograph uh, moving subjects. You've got right here your VR, standard vibration reduction on or off. And then you've got your normal uh, and sport mode for your continue autofocus. This lens also comes with a uh, ever so small uh, uh, lens hood and I will bring that into picture right now. There's the uh, lens hood as you can tell that sucker is is huge. So if you were to add this to this lens okay so that is on there now. The size of this thing with it not even zoomed out. I'm locked out right now all the way and it barely even fits in my camera. I mean this sucker is not by any means small. Now let's head outside for a live demonstration. So we're going to go 200 millimeters and we're going to go straight to 300. That right there is going to be 300 millimeters. Now we're going to go from 300 to 400. That is 400 millimeters. We'll go ahead and refocus. Now we'll go from 400 all the way zoomed out to 500. We'll go ahead and refocus. So 500 all the way zoom back out to 200. And that is the zoom distance. 